So in last class 5, we discussed the various spectral lines and also number of transitions, drawbacks and all that and alpha fine structure constant. We discussed all this in lecture 5. Now let us see Rutherford alpha ray scattering experiment which reveals the positive nature of the nucleus. This experiment reveals the positive nature of the nucleus. Nucleus is the atom consists of a uh, central core called as nucleus which is always a positive charge. Now what the experiment is, here he has taken a lead uh, covering or lead plates. Lead plates are lead uh, plates are lead cavity, you can say lead plates are lead cavity, you can say lead cavity, lead cavity <coughs> which consists of a radioactive element. This is what is called as the radioactive element bismuth whose atomic number is 83 which is radioactive element. So the lead cavity which consists of lead sheets or lead plates inside which we are having a radioactive element called bismuth. This is now radioactive alpha particles are emitting from this radioactive nuclei. Alpha particles are emitting from this radioactive nuclei. These are then made to pass through, these are then made to pass through lead slits, lead slits are then made to pass through lead slits and then made to fall on a thin gold foil. This is what is called as a thin gold foil whose thickness is 2.1 into 10 power minus 7 meters or we can say 0.21 micrometer. 0.21 micrometer. The thickness of the gold foil. Gold foil means the wrapper. It is just like a wrapper on the uh, sweets. Just like that one. It is a thin gold foil whose thickness is order of micrometers. 0.21 micrometers or we can say 2.10 power minus 7 micro uh, 10 minus 7 meters. Then these are made to fall on a zinc sulfide screen, zinc sulfide screen, an alpha particle is impinging on that screen, then some scintillations will be there and it consists of a alpha particle detector, it consists of a alpha particle detector at the, say, at the angle 0 degrees, how many alpha particles are falling at an angle of greater than uh, 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees how many alpha particles are coming and at an angle of uh, 90 degrees how many are coming at an angle of less than 90 and greater than uh, greater than 90 and less than 180 how many alpha particles are falling at an angle of 180 degrees how many alpha particles are uh, getting back these are all will be uh, detected by this uh, alpha detect alpha particle detector how many are at an angle theta how many are at an angle between 0 and 90 how many are between 90 and 180 how many are in at an angle of 180 recoiling 180 degrees will be this will be detected by this alpha particle detector in this experimental setup so what setup is here radioactive nucleus is taken inside a lead cavity then alpha particles are emitted from this radioactive element bismuth these are then made alpha particles are emitted these are then made these are then made to pass through lead slits made to pass through lead slits then uh, made to fall on a thin gold foil who is the thickness of the order of 0.21 micrometer then is collected by a zinc sulfide detector or a, or a screen where we are having alpha particle detector where we can count the number of alpha particles uh, falling at different different angles. Now what the uh, observations are here from this, this is the observations he observed. So what is the observations are here uh, take a number of alpha particles. These are all straight lines are all straight lines are alpha particles only. Now most of the alpha particles are found to be um, going undeviated. These are all undeviated alpha particles. Undeviated. Most number of alpha particles are going undeviated. No deviation means angle is no deviation means angle is 90 0, 0 degrees no deviation means alpha is equals to 0 degrees alpha is equals to 0 degrees most of the alpha particles are going undeviated means angle is 0 most number most maximum number and a few number of alpha particles are moving at an angle of greater than 90 degrees this is greater than this is greater than 90 degrees angle this is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 this is the greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees angle few of them few of them are going at an angle of greater than 90 and less than 180 and some of them are going at an angle of less than 90 degrees this is less than 90 degrees 
So if uh, 90 alpha particles, if 90 alpha particles are going at an angle of 0 degrees, then some 8 alpha particles are going at an angle of, uh, some let us say 7, Listen, some 7 alpha particles are going at an angle of theta greater than 90 degrees, greater than 90 degrees, and some, some 2 alpha particles are going at an angle of less than 90 degrees. 2 alpha particles, let us take it to 100 alpha particles. If we take 100 alpha particles, then only two of the alpha particles are going at an angle of uh, theta less than 90 degrees and only one is going recoiling back at an angle of uh, one alpha angle of 180 degrees recoil it is recoiling which alpha particles recoiling means if it is the nucleus the alpha particle which is coming straight on to the nucleus if this is the nucleus, the alpha particle which is coming straight onto the nucleus, straightly onto the nucleus, this is the nucleus, this is a nucleus, this is nucleus of charge Z E, of charge Z E, the alpha particle which is coming onto the nucleus will stop for a distance because alpha particle carries a positive charge, alpha particle carries a positive charge, twice the charge of electron 2E and the nucleus also carries a positive charge. Therefore, it comes towards the nucleus, straight onto the nucleus and due to the repulsive force, positive alpha positive and nucleus is positive. Due to the repulsive force, it stops at some distance or not and again recoils back and retraces back to its, to its path by an angle of it's scattering as 180 degrees, angle of scattering as 180 degrees. So, very, 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 very few, least number of alpha particles are scattered at an angle of 180 degrees and maximum number of alpha particles are scattered at an angle of, uh, it's at an angle, uh, which angle? Most number of alpha particles scattered at an angle, theta is equal to 0 degrees. Most are scattered at an angle, theta is equal to 0 and least number of scattering at an angle, theta is equal to 180 degrees. In between falls, greater than 90 and less than 90. Now, what is distance of closest approach means the alpha particle comes on to the nucleus due to the repulsive force between alpha particle and nucleus, the alpha particle retraces back making an angle of scattering as 180 degrees. At this point, what happens? Theta is called as angle of scattering. At that point, what happens is all the, all the kinetic energy at the point, at the distance of closest approach, at distance of closest approach, at distance of closest approach, all the, the alpha particle momentarily stops and retraces its path. Then what happens? All the all kinetic energy converts into potential energy. Converts to potential energy. All the kinetic energy converts into potential energy because it momentarily stops, means it has to become zero. Then what happens to kinetic energy? It converts into its potential energy. Then what happens? Therefore, half mv square is equals to electrostatic potential energy, charge of nucleus q1, q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught r is electrostatic potential energy, p is equals to qe, charge of nucleus ze and q2, charge of alpha particles 2e, this is nucleus, this is alpha particle ze into 2e by 4 pi epsilon naught, stop the distance of r naught, where the potential energy is maximum and kinetic energy is minimum at the distance of closest approach as all the kinetic energy converts into its potential energy therefore the kinetic energy is minimum and potential energy is maximum and that point half mv square is equals to ze into 2e by 4 pi epsilon naught r naught therefore what happens there therefore uh, r naught is equals to r naught is equals to 2 z e square by 4 pi epsilon naught half m v square or you can say 2 z e square by 4 pi epsilon naught e e is the kinetic energy this is the expression for uh, distance of closest approach very 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 important one in doing the problems so for this, the angle of scattering theta is equal to 180 degrees. Scattering angle theta is equal to 180 degrees. Now, what is the impact parameter? What is impact parameter? 
So B here, B is called as impact parameter. What is impact parameter means? When the alpha particle coming towards the nucleus, when it reaches the nucleus, it deviates from its path due to its repulsion. When it's not coming onto the nucleus, it becomes above the nucleus, then it changes its path, making an angle of scattering as theta. Theta is the angle of scattering. Now the distance between the, the perpendicular distance between B is the perpendicular distance between perpendicular distance between uh, velocity direction of velocity vector of alpha particle initial velocity of alpha particle and a nucleus the perpendicular distance between the initial velocity vector of alpha particle initial velocity vector of alpha particle and nucleus is called as uh, what do you call this impact parameter b so this is the coming like this due to this uh, repulsive force uh, it goes it takes a deviation deviation like this uh, this is angle theta now this perpendicular distance initial direction is like this vector direction initial velocity vector direction is like this uh, this is the nucleus this perpendicular distance is called as uh, the impact parameter b and the expression for impact parameter is expression for impact parameter is z e square b is equals to b is equals to z e square cot theta by 2 z e square cot theta by 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught e or r b is equals to z e square cot theta by 2 by 4 pi epsilon naught half m v square 4 pi epsilon naught half m v square from this what can we have is here b is directly proportional to cot theta by 2 this is most important one b is directly proportional to cot theta by 2 so this is something now let us see number of alpha particles scattered now now let us see number of alpha particles scattered at an angle theta we have seen in the picture so num alpha particles are scattering at an angle theta which is less than 90 degrees which is less than 90 degrees and greater than zero we have seen the uh, trajectory path we have seen like this there are alpha particles scattered at an angle of theta less than 90 degrees now that number of alpha particles scattered are given by n is equals to Q and T z square e power 4 by Q and T z square e power 4 by 8 pi epsilon naught whole square R square e square sine power 4 theta by 2 Q and T z square e power 4 by 8 pi epsilon naught whole square R square e square sine power 4 theta by 2. Now what are the parameters? This is an important equation. Proportionalities are giving in the examination. Proportionalities are giving in the exam. Not the full formula, but he is asking the proportionalities. Now what is Q there? Total number of alpha particles striking the gold foil. Total number of alpha particles striking the gold foil is Q. Q is total number of alpha particles striking the gold foil. What is then? Number of atoms per unit volume on the foil. That is concentration. We can say it as concentration. We can say it as concentration of atoms. Number of atoms per unit volume is concentration of atoms in the gold foil. That is the number of atoms per unit volume. Next this is the thickness of the gold foil or any foil. The, I told you that this is 0.21 micrometers. I told you in the previous uh, board. And 0.21 micrometers. And that is the atomic number of the foil. We are taking it as gold. But uh, we can take any other aluminium. We take aluminium. Then we can say silver. We can take that atomic number. Or is the distance of screen from the Foil. So the distance of screen, if this foil here and detector here, this is the distance of screen from the foil is R and E is the kinetic energy of alpha particles that is E is equals to half m v square. E is the kinetic energy of alpha particles that is E is equals to half m v square. Theta is the angle of scattering. So this is the equation, this is the important equation. From this equation, as is, will not come, but he gives the proportionality. From this equation, n proportional to t 
Number of alpha particles scattered are directly proportional to thickness of the gold foil, proportional to square of the atomic number, thickness, square of the atomic number, gold, gold square, gold atomic number, square, silver, aluminium, like that. Next, and this is very, 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 very important one. Just like our B is proportional to cot theta by 2, impact parameter. That is also important, just to have seen in the previous board. B proportional to cot theta by 2, just like N proportional to 1 by sine power 4 theta by 2. 1 by sine power 4 theta by 2, number of alpha particles scattered or inverse proportional to fourth power of sine theta by 2. Fourth power of sine theta, that is very, very, very important. Uh, expression in doing the problems and also n proportional to e square n proportional to 1 by e square n proportional to 1 by e square if you are got, found a, a velocity then e is equals to half m v square therefore n proportional to 1 by half m v square so v square square v power for n proportional mass is constant n proportional to 1 by v power for n proportional to 1 by v power for this is the number of alpha particles scattered here this is very very important one and impact parameter this is very very important expressions okay now in next class we discuss about photoelectric effect